In this video, I will show you how we can uh, deploy our Oracle forms at client side. So there are a couple of methods, but in this video, I will show you one. In the previous video, I will show you how we have uh, designed a form. So that was a test form. So test form is contained just a one data block and one canvas and on that canvas we just have one button. So if I will run that form you can see it's a plain form with a simple button test me so we have to deploy it at client side so how we can do that uh, for that first of all we have to create a link for that here we have this form the fab dot cfg file we will edit it And at the end of this file, we will add an entry. So for adding an entry, we will first uh, set it a name. The name is test form uh, standard text. So the form name. test underscore form and it's a fmx our compile form the look and feel is saman and the user id is same as our test user With these parameters we will save our form and uh, we will restart our server. For restarting the server we have to log in in our enterprise manager. After login you can see that our form is running form services. So we will shut down it. Form services uh, shut down successfully now we will run it again. After the starting of our form services, now we are ready to go. We will start our Edge, Microsoft Edge and we will write our form link address and after that there is a question mark config and now here we will write a standard name that we were set on on that form forms web file So oh, you can see by the standard uh, URL we are able to load our form now and we can give this uh, standard URL to our client to our customers uh, by which they can access the system.
the main difference will be the, this local host will be replaced with the IP or uh, the domain name you have and uh, they can access the system we have a very long uh, configuration in these uh, forms web file if you read the whole file you can uh, find out how this is working but I just uh, add some standard most standard parameters by which we are able to run the form and uh, you can see so this is one of method by which we can deploy our, our uh, Oracle forms at client side in the next video we will discuss uh, the other method so stay tuned